Day number three in the Shenandoahs. Good morning, everybody. Looking for a milestone. It's mile 899. You know what time it is. Mile number six. Oh, wait a minute. Nine hundred miles, everybody. It's a beautiful day. I must kind of admit, I guess I'm kind of getting used to seeing these 100 mile markers. It seems like it's time is a little bit fewer in, in between. Um, really starting to get a kick out of collecting these milestones. Right now I am uh, just a little over 150 miles away from home. It just feels great. Um, I know when I hit a thousand miles, Well, let's just get there first. Last night I stayed at the uh, Pinefield Hut and I'll add shelter to it to eliminate any confusion. Uh, Billy and Rudy were there along with a, uh, a lasher, which LASH is the acronym for Long Ass Section Hiker. Um, Shade Hunter was a fellow's name, really cool guy. He had basically He's finishing up the second half of his hike. Last year he did basically half the trail from Harper's Ferry to Katahdin. And he is finishing up the second half this year. So, um, real cool guy. Um, my decision to stand in shelter paid off. Because not long after filming my closing last night, we had a real bad thunderstorm come through the area. But, you know, hey, tents keep that stuff out too. I was just, I guess, taking the easy path last night. So or the convenient path. So, looks like a beautiful morning here in Shenandoah National Park. Seeing lots of wildlife. Um, there's been some reports from the other hikers of rattlesnakes, and Rudy actually has some footage on her cell phone of a pretty large rattlesnake just laying in the middle of the trail doing his business. And it seems like I'm one of the few that haven't seen a bear already, um, which I know from past experience. My sweetheart and I drove through the Skyline Drive, and I think in our our trip alone, just driving on the roadway, we saw like eight bears. Um, but wildlife everywhere. It's a time of year where uh, does are giving birth to their fawns. So we've seen quite a few of those, just very small fawns. Look like they're you know, maybe even just a few days old. Seeing some uh, bucks out there in their felt. Some people call it velvet. Um, just beautiful out here. So today's goal, I'm heading for a campground, I believe it's Lewis Mountain Campground, about 20 miles out. So yesterday I just did a, it was just about a 14, but really took my time yesterday and was trying to get some some video footage uploaded, but didn't really have much signal. So a uh, long leisurely day. So, but today I'm gonna try to get some miles on the board around a 20. Check in later, pushing north everybody. Let's do this. Shenandoah's SNP in PATC territory. View from High Top Mountain, mile 907.
Okay, everybody. I'm going to be calling it a day at Lewis Mountain Campground. Mile number 918. It's going to give me 19.8 miles for the day. Um, the reason I've chose or chosen this campground is apparently, according to Carhop, a good friend of mine I hiked with early on, he had informed me that there is a young lady who works in this area that's one of my subscribers, and she said that she would like to meet me, and she has no idea that I'm stopping by. Also, I'm going to be meeting another subscriber of mine that I have been in communication with. We've been trying to get connected for quite some time, and I'm looking forward to meeting him as well. So, 900 miles, everybody, and counting. Um, I just can't wait to get home. Beautiful day of hiking, some great views today. And looking forward to getting set up here this evening and enjoying some social time, get some rest, get up and do it again tomorrow. Loving the Shenandoahs so far. So I'll share more in the future with, uh, with my subscriber meetings. And I appreciate everybody walking along with me. My journey to Cantaudan continues. Thanks for watching Wild on the Trail. Take care, everybody. Good night.